you. It's such a blessing every time we go to a nursing home that we're able to visit and, and, and encourage. And this young lady back here who encouraged me with her testimony of her age, which is such a blessing, and I hope to be just like her. Amen. Like her. I'm going to be coming from, uh, uh, first of all, I'm going to give acknowledgments to my pastor, Pastor Cleveland T.A. Mason, uh, the pastor, the, the set angel of the Purpose Square Baptist Church, um, and to uh, Brother Saunders or Dr. Saunders, and to my husband, Michael Bassaville. I thank God for them. And um, I will be coming from 1 Corinthians 15, verse 28. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58. I'm sorry, verse 58. And it says, Therefore, my beloved brother, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for so much as you know that your labor is not in vain. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Praise God. Praise my Lord. Therefore, my beloved brother, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding, be fruitful, be plenteous, be abundant in the work of the Lord, in so much that your labor is not in vain that your work, your toil, your efforts is not in vain, that it's not unproductive, unsuccessful in the Lord. First, First Corinthians 15, 18 says, Paul, here Paul is, is admonishing the church of false teachers that have crept into the church and some leaders have begun to deny the resurrection of Christ. Paul insists in the strongest language possible warning leaders for denying and teaching the false word. He encouraged them to, to continue and to be steadfast in their, in their work of Christ, specific, specifically of the resurrection. Your labor is not in vain. All the work you do for Christ will be rewarded. There are days when you seem to go through the worst situations in your life, and there seem to be no end to disappointments and letdowns when your heart is broken from every angle and there seem to be no hope. When there's the discouragement, when there are reports from doctors, when there's negative remarks from relatives and friends, when everything around you seems to have gone wrong, don't throw in the towel, don't give up. You got to hold on and keep the faith. There is an eternal, there is an eternal truth. Yeah. Christ is coming back. Yes. There is an eternal hope that Christ is coming back. Look to Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. You got to trust and believe. You have yes. to trust and believe. Yes. Even in the midst of trouble, you can find there is joy in God. Yes, be is. steadfast and unmovable. Always abiding. Be persistent. Remaining unshakable in the true word of the Lord. When the clouds and disappointments come and when you search, and search for relief in man and there seem to be none anywhere, you got to go to God and pray. No, you're never alone. You're never alone. Amen. Hold on and don't give up. God is with you. There will always be those who, tr who will try to feed negatively, negative energy. They want you to believe that the work, that the world that you're in right here, right now, is all there is. But I'm here today to tell you there is hope. There is eternal hope. Amen. In Jesus Christ. Yes. God's got your back. Yes. When it seems there's no other way, there is no other way except you live in Christ. You cannot live in this world without God. Don't worry, God is about everything that's going on in your life in control. It may be a test, but he's got it all in control. There's a reason for whatever you're dealing with and whatever you're going through. God who speaks things into existence. God who casts the sun and moon and stars in the atmosphere. God who covers the earth with trees and every living thing. God who parted the waters. God who created man and breathed life into man. He is the author and finisher, yeah. the beginning and the end. His word was His word was true then, and His word is true now. Don't give up. Be steadfast and pray for strength. God will 
see you through. Whatever you're dealing with, God will see you through. Seek the Lord and seek his face continually. He will keep you, keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. Don't look to man for strength. Man's holiness comes from his position in Christ, not from their own goodness. Their good may wear down, but their position in Christ, if they truly believe, trust and, trust and believe in Christ, and have faith will stand when everything else fails. Sometimes you may have to look to others and see how they handle their troubles yes. and seem spiritually deprived and destitute with no hope. Yeah. And when we focus on people's faults and weaknesses, hope soon decreases and discouragement follows. But when you concentrate on the Lord, even in the darkest hour, you can be filled with praise. You can look above the situation and keep your eye on the prize. Hang in there. Don't give up. Don't give up. Yes. My brothers and sisters, keep on praying. Keep on praising. Keep on living. Yes. Keep on giving. Keep on singing. And keep on serving. There is a true hope in Jesus Christ. Yes. When sickness ravages your body, there is still hope. God is still there. He is an ever-present help in the time of trouble. Some sickness is, is, is uh, so God can display, display to others in your life his power and his strength to show others of his goodness and his mercy. It's how it's, it is so to show someone that God is still hearing and still healing and still delivering. And if not, there is a new road for a new body because our life is eternal. Christians' lives are eternal. We have eternal life in Jesus Christ. Amen. If you don't give up, that's when God blesses you. Don't go through, but go through with hope in the Lord yes, and surrender right. to Jesus Christ because Christ is coming back. Yes, he is. Don't let anyone tell you that it's not true. When you look at the times that we're living in now and you scratch your head and wonder what in the world is going on, why are things happening the way they are? Because Christ is coming back. Let God have his way, trust in God, and never doubt. God still hears. He hears your plea. God will bring you through. It says in, in, in Peter 4 and 12, Dear friends, do not be, be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come, this has come on you to test you as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in so much as you must as you participate in the sufferings of Christ so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed for the spirit of glory and God rests on you. If you suffer, it should be, it should not be as a murderer or a thief or any other kind of criminal or even a meddler. However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed or praise God that you bear that name. Christ lives and is coming back in spite of what others say. No matter how long it's been, Christ is coming back. Yes. Are you going to be ready when he comes? Yes. You ask when? Okay. God's time is not our time. The Bible says when the Lord, with the Lord, one day is a thousand years, and as a thousand years as one day. The race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but those that endure to the end. Amen. To the one who endures all the way to the end, not the one who just give up and turn their back and walk out, but those that endure to the end. The one who continues to stand, who believe and trust and have faith in his word. The one who holds on to the word. And the word is where? In the Bible. Yes. While you're going through, keep the faith. Things will work out for them who love the Lord. Your ending will be better than your beginning. Yes. Paul knew the church was being told negatively, negatively about the resurrection of Christ. The times we are living in, people may question Christ's return. The resurrection of Jesus was a fact seen by witnesses who saw him alive after the resurrection. Yes. Paul himself saw him on the road to Damascus. Thomas, after doubting, began to believe. But Jesus said, Blessed are they that believe, blessed are, but Jesus said, Blessed are they that believe and not see. Jesus appeared to 500 and others in Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Peter and two disciples on the enemy's road. The disciples at the Sea of Galilee at a mountain. See the historic history you have to believe. Christ is coming back. He is alive and he will return. Yeah. Jesus provided proof to the apostles. Jesus, Jesus said, look at my hands and my feet. 
It is I myself, touch me and see. Ghosts don't have flesh and bones. It was not because man, it, what they saw, it was not because they were hallucinating, hallucinating or because they were high. But man will have you believe that his crucifixion was the end. Man will have you believe he accomplished his goal of killing Jesus. You can't kill what God already ordained. So I say to yes. you, be steadfast and unmovable. Don't let stuff disturb your life and your peace and your joy and your faith. Yes. Those who suffer according to God's will should commit themselves to their faithful creator and continue to hold fast. Jesus represents life. He breathed life into man. Yes. He cleansed the leper. He saved life. That was all about life. The wind obeyed Jesus. He preserved life. He said, let the dead bury the dead. Jesus was about life, the living. Women, a woman healed of the issue of blood. He's not about destroying life. Jesus raised the woman's, the widow's son, Nahum, Jairus, and the daughter and daughter and Lazarus. He was about life. He proved the dead can come alive and come back to life. Jesus is about life. There is God who sits, there's a God who sits high and looks low. Because, of the, because on the other side of all of this, on the other side of this life, there is eternal life. There's joy, there's peace, and everlasting life. Yeah. The decision is up to you. Hold on, don't give up, Hold don't on. give in. Like Jesus, we too shall have eternal life. Hold he on. lives and Christ is coming back. I heard, when some, I heard somebody say, and I believe it was Ray Lewis say, the Bible is a basic instruction before leaving this earth. Mm. So I say to you, before you leave here, you got to put your stuff together. You got to have it put together right. And you have to use the instruction manual. And the instruction manual is the Bible. Yeah. Christ is coming back. And you've got to be ready. And you got to have faith. Continue to believe. Hold on. Don't give up. Regardless of what anybody say around you. That's God, right. Whoever around you try to feed you doubt, hold on and give up and continue to believe and trust in God. Amen.